If you're considering making the jump from a Kajabi or a Kartra or something of those all-in-one platforms and moving over to the new Thrivecart and Thrivecart Learn platform, you might be asking yourself the question, where should you host your website? In this video, I wanna give you a quick overview of a few ideas to help you out. Let's go ahead and dive in. Hey guys, John Woodford here. I love helping people find the right solutions to their tech problems. In this video, I wanna give you a kind of just high level overview of what you need to host your websites, especially for those who are using the Thrivecart Learn and Thrivecart platforms. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in here. I'm gonna show my whiteboard. Now this is kind of the good and the bad of the all-in-one platform. I'll do AIO as all-in-one because generally it includes your website, it includes maybe your email marketing, it includes your online courses, uh, maybe your membership, maybe your help desk, things like that. And that's fantastic. But those all-in-one platforms come with two huge drawbacks. Drawback number one tends to be the price tends to be a little bit uh, up there, especially for those who are just getting started. You might not need all those features yet. And so to pay that price from day one can be a little bit prohibitive, right? And the second thing is it generally, and there are some exceptions to those rules, but the feature set of these platforms tend to not be the best. You know, I, I like to include those things where if you're gonna be a jack of all trade, you're probably gonna be a master of none. And sometimes those all-in-one platforms fall into that bucket, okay? So if you are looking at something like a Thrivecart Learn, this is a platform that is new, admittedly, it's very new, but it's fantastic because it's good on the budget. You pay one to get access to it for life, but it also gives you things like unlimited students. It gives you advanced selling features like Dunning, subscription management, uh, and a great affiliate program for you to have your students become affiliates for you. A lot of things to like on the feature set. So, you know, feature set here, I'll just do FS for feature set. It's growing very rapidly and it's doing a great job there. And on the cost, it's also like $1 sign cost. If you think about after a year or two or three, it's gonna absolutely save you a ton of money and grow with you over time. So that's the good part about using a platform like Thrivecart. But the bad part is kind of the uh, decision fatigue you might experience because now you have a few more questions to answer, like your hosting, like your emails, Things like that. So in this video, let's just walk through a couple of ideas on what you can do to help you out with setting up the rest of the stack, as people call it, if you're going in for the Thrivecart Learn deal. Okay, oh, and by the way, I do have some Thrivecart bonuses that go along if you do decide to pick up Thrivecart and use our affiliate link, and you can just go and learn about our bonus offer by literally going to thrivecartbonus.com and learn all about that. There'll also be links down below, of course, if you're interested. All right, so what do you need? If you're using Thrivecart, what else do you need to kind of round the stack out, okay? So you're gonna have Thrivecart in the center here, because this is gonna be where you accept payments and host your products and things like that. So aside from that, you also might want a website. You know, maybe you want to have blog posts, so I'll do website slash blog over here. You're also probably gonna want email marketing, right? And you want those to talk together. And you might want other things like actual email hosting. So you can do like email back and forth and you know, email and email marketing is a little bit different. This is something like a convert kit. Let me get hide my face here. This is something like a convert kit or MailChimp, whereas email hosting is more like G Suite or you know being able to send and receive emails in an inbox. And aside from that, you know, website and blogs, email marketing and email hosting, that's pretty much all you really need to get started, especially if you're using like the bigger engine of Thrivecart Learn to accept payments and do all of that. All right. So there's two recommendations I would give you on the website and blog side. Number one is you can go for something like Bluehost. Bluehost is very affordable, which is great. It is uh, pretty simple to use. It's great. Um, the downside of Bluehost is performance is not always the best. Now, it's I'll, I'm gonna uh, qualify that in just a second, but it, its cost is good, its feature set is good, but its performance is not the best. And then I'll just kind of give you the other side of that, which would be Cloudways. And there'll be links to all these down below. Here, what's good about it is it's fast. It's pro, like it has pro features that Bluehost does not have. The downside of it is, Cost, it doesn't cost that much more than Bluehost, but it is more expensive of a Bluehost. And it's also more technical. Um, not by a crazy amount, but it is harder to use than Bluehost. All right, so if we look at these, we've got cost and feature set 
and performance as a negative on Bluehost. We've got speed and like professional features as the pro and cost and tech as a downside for Cloudways. What's right for you? Well, if you're just getting started, I'm actually going to point you towards Bluehost. And here's the reason why. With Bluehost, you can actually get your email hosting included and there'll be links down below that explains all this a little bit more fully, but your email hosting can be included if you sign up for Bluehost. You'll actually be able to have unlimited email addresses. So you could have affiliates at your brand name. You could have your first name at your domain.com. You could have uh, support. All these things can all be included at no additional cost, which is fantastic. I'm also going to let you know that because you're using Thrivecart, uh, you're using a hosted solution. That means you don't need to have the powerful computer to run all your transactions, all your processing, all your students logging in and logging out. That takes the largest load off of your website. So normally, the blog itself or just having a pretty like portfolio website that says, hey, I'm John, look at me, I'm so awesome. Like that type of stuff, the pretty stuff, doesn't take that much performance. It doesn't take that much server load. And so a host like Bluehost is actually really good for that type of stuff, for being able to just show your blog post, have some pictures on your site, have an about page, a contact me form, things like that. You don't need much more than Bluehost to get a really fantastic score if you don't, if you like, you know, follow good practices and reduce your image size. Whereas with Cloudways, that's really geared for those people who want to run a full-on e-commerce website from their site or if they want to have their email marketing integrated in and have all this cool advanced features. So it's better. Like I'm going to tell you right up, like Cloudways is better and faster than Bluehost. But because of this specific use case of you already have a hosted solution that's doing all the heavy lifting, you don't need that much more complexity. You don't need that much more uh, power for your website itself. So if you're in that camp, if you just want something pretty up there, you can you know tack on Bluehost for like three bucks a month or something like that using our affiliate link down in the description and have that for like a year, two years, three years at a really fantastic price. Have all the costs taken care of. Have a pretty good support team. If you need any help, you can actually call their phone line and actually talk to somebody if you don't want to do the whole live chat thing. And it includes your email hosting and some other features, which is super helpful. Um, alternatively, Cloudways is a different pricing model. It's a little bit more expensive all in and you need to add other features on like email hosting, which is another other consideration. All right. So I hope that helps. Let's just kind of back it up real fast. So when you're coming from the all-in-one platform world, you get some benefits because you can like pick and choose exactly the feature set you want, the tools you want to use, and you have all that flexibility. The downside of leaving all-in-one land is now you have to make those calls. So I'm here to help you make those calls easier. If you're just getting started, if you don't have a ton of website traffic and things like that, if you don't have a professional email address already set up, you can use our link down below to sign up for Bluehost. It's like three bucks a month or something like that. Uh, we have a special deal worked out with them for our subscribers, so be sure to do that. Um, that will give you everything you need to get up and get rolling and then move on with life, right? If you want to dig into a bit more of the details and have a bit more advanced features and more future-proof performance, you can check out Cloudways, um, which will help you out with all of those features. But I'll just let you know that you can always upgrade. If you start out with a basic package to get all your like bases covered, when you're ready for more advanced email features, you can upgrade that set later. If you're ready for a faster website, if you feel that you yours is suffering from speed, which it's probably not, it's probably like a, not the root cause. Uh, but if you feel that way, then you can upgrade to Cloudways later and they can migrate you easily. So hope that helps. I hope that clarifies some things for you. If you enjoyed this type of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, like this video and answer the question of the day. And the question is, are you moving from an all-in-one platform over to a Thrivecart Learn or something like that? We did it. We moved from Teachable over and we're very happy we did so and our students are as well. Let me know what you're doing and if you have any questions, I'd love to help you answer those questions here on the YouTube channel to help you become more successful online. That's it for me today, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.